So we're going to need your photos, a can of 3M photo mount, some foam board, a ruler and a scalpel. Oh, and one of these, a cutting mat. Now scalpels are sharp, that's what they're for, they're for cutting up people. And that's what they're very good at, so look after yourself. First thing to do is place your images on the foam board, just so you know where they're going to go and how much space you've got around them. Then we're going to take one image off to the spray booth, check the spray booth to start with to see if it's already sticky, sometimes there's glue left on there from before. Turn your image over and put it face down, like that, and don't forget to turn the spray booth on. They need to shake the can quite vigorously for 30 seconds or more if uh, it hasn't been used for a while, and then we're going to position the can about 20 centimeters away from the paper before spraying over it very smoothly all the way to the edges, uh, so we get the, all the edges all the way around, most importantly. Uh, so there we go, you don't need to get it soaking, just a fine covering, put the lid back on and don't forget to bring the can back into the room. You can leave it there for a second until it gets tacky, there's no rush, don't forget to turn off the spray booth. Then you position very, very carefully, don't let it touch because photo mount sticks. The minute it touches it sticks, you need to position it where you think it's going to go and then slowly let the middle of the image touch down onto the foam board before using the soft part of your hand, whoops, using the soft part of your hand to spread the image to smooth it down, to put some pressure on it, smoothing out any wrinkles that might form in the image. But there shouldn't be any wrinkles, especially on a picture just this size. So, with regard to cutting, you're not trying to use your wrist to do the cutting, nor are you really sort of using your elbow like that. You're trying to do a smooth motion all the way back, all the way along. Okay, so that's a really important thing. The first thing you want to do is you want to rough cut your images. You want to cut each image off from each other so that they're easier to cut up. So, just taking it through, whenever you cut, you're not trying to go through in one go. You're always trying to use the scalpel blade sharpness to, to, to take the uh, to go through each layer of the foam board. Okay, so now we've got one image we can start cutting. Now just a few practice cuts, I want to show you some angles. This first angle is how high you hold the blade. If you hold the uh, scalpel up high like that, it will sort of judder as it goes through and be very, very difficult. That's not the way to do it. Also, people sometimes, I catch people holding it very low, you see. They're using part of the scalpel blade, which isn't really sharp, to try and cut. And what happens if you do that is you get a really tatty, tatty line that doesn't look very good at all. So. You want to try and keep the sharp part of the blade at 45 degrees. If you can do that, then it will be at sort of its maximum efficiency for cutting through. And as I say, two, three, sometimes four times through the foam board, and there you go. A nice sharp cut. There's another angle. You need to turn the blade ever so slightly in toward the ruler, okay? If you don't, you can sort of veer off like that, and it feels like you're going on the ruler, but you're not. If you have a little slight, a real slight turning outwards of the blade, not too far, or you'll jump up onto the ruler and cut your fingers off, a slight turning outwards onto the blade allows you, the, the, the blade to sort of run along the ruler, and then you get a nice sharp cut. Now another angle to consider is whether you want a straight cut, like that, or whether you want an angle. Okay, what I've just done is a really straight vertical cut. You can cut in as an angle, you can cut underneath the image like that. If we cut along like that, so remembering your angles that you've already got, and then angle the scalpel under the ruler, trying to keep the same angle every single time, and there we go, after two cuts, got a really nice straight edge with a slight bevel. Okay, so just to make sure, you're not trying to push down, stabbing the image and pulling really hard. I see some people pushing down really hard and sort of like that. That's not what you're trying to do. The, the, the blade will ping off and stick in your eye <laughs> or somewhere else. Um, don't push. You're pulling the sharpness of the blade through the foam board. Okay, that's a really, really important point. Okay, let's go for a cut then. So what we're aiming to do is we're aiming to actually cut off about half to a millimetre of the image. Okay, it looks like a lot there. It's because we're seeing a cut under the ruler there. But you're aiming to cut off about half a millimetre or a millimetre of the image so you get a really nice sharp cut. There's no point trying to run along the line. Watch out for your fingers and then calmly do a cut. Don't try not to stop halfway unless things are going really terribly. Just smoothly through and there we go. One nice really sharp cut and hopefully no one's lost any fingers.